my Panasonic uh, FZ200 camera. Got it on a tripod there. So I'm thinking of having it permanently there, or I may put the G7 camera there. But first, let me say. Uh, my name is Jim Howard. I'm here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date it's August 12th of 2019. Now, back to I'm back to using one monitor, but I do not have it in 4K mode. I'm keeping it in 1080p. Uh, I'm thinking now of starting off maybe I'll change my mind up. You know, starting off my videos here with this camera, or the G7, whichever one. Right now I've got, for this camera and for the Panasonic G7, uh, the adapter that has it plugged directly into AC and running up in the fake battery going into the compartment, so don't have to worry about the battery running down. Um, but I'm maybe the, it's covering the uh, the tripod thing that it's on. You know, it's covering the door down there. So when I want to uh, pop out the SD card, I'll have to take it off of the tripod. I think I've got some adapters that I can use the G7 and keep the uh, compartment here free so I can get into the... so I'll be checking on that. But right now that is the Panasonic FZ200 camera. I also have uh, two USB cameras hooked up here. Let's see if I can go down here. There's one. That's the one that's about $200. What is that? Brio or whatever. And uh, then there's the C920. Which is on top of, or you know, it's a USB also. And with the other software that I'll be using, I can switch back and forth between those two. Um, they're both excellent for doing, you know, USB. Let me get my morning Coke here. They're both excellent, but sometimes with the lighting that I have, uh, well, they're too truthful. <laughs> I look really bad sometimes, depending on what type of lighting I have with, especially the uh, C920E, I think it is. So, okay. Um, See if I can put this in the correct manner. I've been doing YouTube videos since they began in 2005, and uh, I'm close to having 3,000 subscribers, but that's that's not good. <laughs> you know, 2005 to 2019, and I have not yet, uh, and that's not. You know, that's my fault. I haven't made, uh, you know, the right kind of videos. I'm not making the right kind of videos uh, for what you people want. Uh, and that's my fault. But on the other hand, in 1982, 1982, I started blogging. I set up a, a Radio Shack Model 1 computer with 48K of K of memory and a modem and a 300 baud modem and then hooked it up to a phone line. I wrote, to BBS, I wrote a BBS program in BASIC and that was my beginning. And I, my bulletin board system was, was a blog 
It was every day, what was I doing, what was going on in my life. Uh, but also I called it Howard's Notebook because I, uh, my memory has never been all that great. So I put things on there that I wanted to be able to access. But at the same time, stuff that would maybe be, you know, a list of uh, bulletin board systems. But of course, in the beginning, there was only myself and maybe three others. Eventually, it got to be a ma over years. It got to be a major project. Thank God, because people would set BBS up, you know, kids and stuff, and then they'd take it down the next week or whatever. It was. Oh, it was but every other, the other bulletin board systems, you know, came and downloaded and used my uh, my list. But then eventually there was a organization formed in Kansas City of systems, system operators, BBS operators, and they came to me and they said, Jim, you know, how about we take over the the list for you? And I said, great. And they took it over. Then I downloaded it from them, and then you know. But also on my bullet boards, I had the list of uh, uh, amateur radio repeaters, uh, the uh, list of uh, the the nets that were on, what day, what frequency they were on, a uh, list of, and then just other information that I wanted was on there. But it was a blog. Um, because every day or more than every day and then of course it was a message board and stuff like that and of course it changed you know 1200 baud 2400 or no 300 baud when I started 300 baud 1200 baud uh, 2400 is on 56 you know K and on and on and then eventually I moved it in 1995 when the World Wide Web was invented, I moved it to the, and then, you know, then I had various blogging sites, as it, you know, and then eventually, 2005, of course I was doing videos before also doing videos, and then uh, 2005 moved to Amazon, so not Amazon, YouTube. So. So my my site on YouTube, you know, is a reflection of my history and my past, and you know whatever I've done over the years. So it's now people are using you know people are using Facebook and Twitter and all that type of stuff. So you know um, where my blog. Uh, blogs in the past would have, you know, 300 people a day come to the to the blog and read it. And then for, you know, for a while there was like 3,000 people coming a day depending, you know, but then that would take, that was because it was something that I posted that in uh, Google, you know, got indexed and people were being sent there and then it would it would go up and down. I basically have shut down. I have shut down the uh, written blog because it went to thirty a day or less. You know, I mean, people go to you, go to YouTube, go to Facebook, go to Twitter, go to wherever the other, wherever the other sites are. But I never tried to, you know, adapt. I just continued sort of doing what I've always done, blabbering. And uh, for some of you, that's, you know, that's not what you're looking for. Some of you are looking, you know, and I use YouTube too. It's gotten to, you know, where before I buy something, it used to be a while back, you know, I would go to uh, Amazon and look at the reviews, stuff like that. Uh, now I, I go to, if I, if I have a problem, I go to, you know, YouTube, go search, you know, to, I don't know if you can hear that or not, the, uh, for the people next door, the truck is here picking up their trash. Sometimes they show up there, do that like five o'clock in the morning. Um,
so, you know, I I have my blog, I have my YouTube site, and I know in a way what I should do. You know, I should I should do a review on a subject. Click. You know, this is a review of a subject. This is the, re the review. Click. Here's the video. Uh, or I should do, you know, okay, I'm talking, nobody wants to hear about politics, but I'm talking about something that, that bothers me, you know, political or in the, in the news. You know, here it is, there's nothing added, you know, click, post it, the tags, what have you, and then you don't have to sit through, you know. So, so I'm not blaming people for, but I do blame YouTube. Now, YouTube, Man, I mean, you know, they come along before, man, when I, before there was a YouTube, before there was a See You, See Me, before there was any of the sites, I was live streaming video, just, and I had to use my own computer. And back then the computers were, you know, you know, XP's or, I mean, you know, 286's, 386's, whatever, I mean, and if I had six, seven, eight, people watching the video that I was streaming live, you know, I, I couldn't do anything with my computer. I mean, it was, you know, it took all the CPU, all the memory just to do, you know, just to do that. So thank God for these others that came along, which I used then, you know. Uh, and so, you know, YouTube is great. They, you can upload your videos for free. You know, they have all this. Fine. Okay, the problem. Uh, and I can understand, they need to make money. And they make money by having advertising in the videos. And uh, I can understand that. The problem I see with YouTube, and it's how it affects me and a lot of other YouTubers, uh, I, my, my videos aren't, uh, you know, when I discuss politics, the advertisers do not want to advertise, and I don't blame them, you know, I mean, if I make a video and I am talking about uh, the President of the United States or the leader of the Senate or whatever, you know, whatever it is, about, well right now, about 40% of the people are not going to want to hear my comments. And sure enough, you know, an advertiser doesn't, you know, Disney, uh, Coca-Cola, you know, advertisers do not want to have their advertising on a site where 40% of the people are going to go there and be pissed off. That's not good for your advertising. You don't want your advertising there. I, I totally understand that. The problem is, you know, that would be fine if, well, which they do. If YouTube says no advertising for Howard's Notebook at all, or they could try to do it, you know, they could try to do it. Okay, well, yeah, advertising for uh, when uh, he had when he does a review for a four terabyte, you know, external USB drive. When he does a review of that, yeah, we can put advertising on that. But it, I can see where it's going to be, you know, be difficult. Especially, of course, for me, which it makes it impossible for them. And then I, if I do political comments, I just turn off the things. So I don't even ask uh, YouTube to, you know, put an advertisement on the thing. Um, but I can see where that's difficult. The, the problem is, 
the only way you can be successful on YouTube, well, you can be maybe successful with kitten videos or uh, doggy videos or I don't know what kind of, you know, what kind of videos. Um, well, I do know what kind, but um, the problem is if I make a video, if I make a fantastic video, if I make, which I don't make ones that are that fantastic, <laughs> but if I make a fantastic video and I upload it, YouTube is not going to promote it. They're not going to, you know, announce it. You know, they're not going to send the word out. Uh, because they're, I'm not putting advertising on. You know, there's no advertising on, on mine. They're not going to make any money. So they're sending out these other, the you know, the other things and the prop, you know, they've gone to the big, you know, bringing in people and giving people uh, perks and all kinds of stuff, you know. So, if you have a, if you're starting a YouTube site, um, you're not going to get promoted. Um, they're not going to send it out. And I'm not even sure, like, okay, I have almost 3,000 people who have subscribed. I'm not sure that, uh, and if I make a video, or when I do make a video, uh, first day or two, 40 people watch the video. Uh, first, you know, maybe the first three days a week or whatever, maybe 75 people watch the video, you know, have watched the video. That's about it. Now, sure, I have some videos that were made a while back that got 93,000 views and that type of stuff, but that was a while back, and quite a few years back, those type of videos, and uh, things have changed. <clears throat> now YouTube is, I think, uh, their system is set up, and there's nobody sitting there, I can't blame, you know. John Smith, a YouTube employee, for saying, oh, okay, Jim Howard, I'm, we're not going to. No, it's, you know, the code that they have set up, and they're promoting things that have advertising on it, and things that are going to, you know, make them money, and they're just not. So, you know, what I wish, like, I, my uh, YouTube site is listed under, uh, Not, is it just under blog and people or something like that? What I wish they would do is, I guess, but it's not going to happen. We should have a category, say blog, or say you know bulletin board system or you know something, and I would put you know Howard's notebook and other people would maybe too you know put it in that category and just make it then they would make it clearer. I wish YouTube would say to the YouTube provider, uh, when you list your YouTube site there, there will be no advertising on your site at all. You won't tell any advertisers about it. If an advertiser says, I want to advertise, you know, on there, no. As long as you're in these categories. You know, a category could be politics. If you put your site in the category politics, you can have all the videos you want. And we're not going to demonetize them because you said a you know bad word or you said something about the president or whatever. I mean, unless it's hateful speech or something. Or sure, delete those people. And delete their videos, and if they're really you know delete them. But you're in that category. You're not going to get advertising. And but then push it out. If somebody, if you if you have been watching other videos on politics or whatever, sure they're going to send you, you know, notifications when you log into YouTube. Oh, there are, you know, they think I might like this video, but they should also, you know, because you've watched other videos or because you 
whatever. Maybe you watched videos on uh, hospital security. I made a bunch of videos on hospital security. Maybe you watched videos on uh, Fort Worth. I made some videos about Fort Worth. Uh, something, you know, where they would notify you, have a pop-up. Now, sure, not have, you know, not have you log in and have all the notifications that you get are about things that are not, there's no advertising up here. They want you to see their advertising. But the way it's going, I've given up on YouTube. I'm still going to make YouTube videos. I enjoy making them. Um, I'm still going to make YouTube videos, but I'm not worrying at any, about, I'm tempted just to set my thing so no advertising appearing at all, period. But, and I have a bunch of them that I have set, you know, because I mentioned politics or whatever. But it's aggravating. I think the video that has, I think, the one, because I have several. I think the video that has 92,000 has 92, views is about three minutes or less than five minutes and is uh, how to use a pill cutter to cut your pills if you need to, you know. And uh, almost immediately when I made that, it was demonetized immediately. I didn't even notice it, I don't think, for like a week or so. And apparently it was because in the tags I put medication, drug, pill, something like that, and they thought, you know, that I'm, I guess I was promoting, I don't know what. So then I clicked the thing, please, you know, and then after a few days they turned it back on. Then after, you know, and I forgot about that it still it still that video still gets some traffic. I think years went by, and then I just happened to go through and look at because I have over a thousand videos. I went back and looked, and I, it it had been demonetized again. I guess because of the word pill or drug or something like that. That's a pain in the you know that's a pain in the ass that uh, uh, and they've. They've demonetized, but not just me. I mean, some people bigger. I mean, some places too that are big YouTube video people that have a staff, they have a payroll, and uh, they're, you know, they've been demonetized on a bunch of their videos. The ones that are doing politics, I don't know how in the world they're going to, how they, how you're going to handle that. Or how they're going to handle the thing. I mean, if the person is doing political stuff, uh, I mean, I would like to see them be able to have advertising on there and make money. But I can see, on the other hand, I mean, of course, if they get people to use Patreon, you know, Patreon, uh, which I don't use, I have a thing on my main thing. I uh, use a uh, PayPal donation. It's if you go to uh, my channel, you know, YouTube slash HNBBS. If you go there, up in the little corner, there's nobody's ever used it. I've been here. I've been on YouTube for five since 2005. I never used Patreon. Uh, but if these other channels that are having the difficult, you know. I don't know what the solution is. I'm just going to look at it from my point of view. I'm going to continue to make videos, maybe not as often, because sometimes I've made videos uh, thinking, okay, I have to make, I haven't made a video for a week, haven't made a video for two weeks, so, uh, okay, I'm going to make such and such. Uh, and I think you can probably hear the jet going over. I'm in Fort Worth, and I live very close to a Joint Reserve military airport. 
which used to be Carswell uh, Air Base, and they have a uh, very interesting you know, Carswell Air, Air Force Base when it was, when it was a active you know, Air Force Base. Now it's a reserve, you know. But uh, Carswell Air Force Base has a long history. There's a lot of stories having to do with uh, Carswell Air Force Base. And then also, too, back when I was a kid, back starting in 1955, or a little bit before, shortwave radio was my thing. I got, I man, I was, you know, and I can remember listening over all the, you know, to uh, the early Mercury launches or whatever. I was able to pick up some communications from that. Anyway, long story. But some of the things I pick up on the radio, and not just me, other people, you know, was you pick up uh, SAC, Strategic Air Command, you know, they had aircraft. Back then, the United States had aircraft in the air with nuclear bombs on board, you know, ready to go. They had them on the ground ready to go. They had them in the air ready to go. And then there was command center, you know, and you'd hear things like Sky King, Sky King, authentication, and then it would be, you know, and you'd hear maybe Carswell Air Force Base, you know, would send out numbers and things like that. Pretty pretty interesting. But anyway, Carswell, I've never, we live very close to it. I've never been on, it's a reserve base now, so they have Army, Marine, and Navy that I know of, reserve units that, and they pretty much fly two or three times, I mean each one of them, you know. And uh, so we get military, and then they had I've never been to one of those. Uh, back years ago, a few years ago, they had, I think it was the Blue Angels. I think it was Blue Angels. And I didn't go uh, to it, but just being here, you know, they were coming over and uh, you could pick up the communication, of course, also on, on that. So, anyway, where was I? So, anyway, I'm going to continue to make YouTube videos, but maybe I'll be making less. But I hope they're going to be a little higher quality. And I was going to use this camera for this. Then I was going to stop. And then I was going to use uh, these cameras and the screen. And, uh, you know, splice the video together. But since this has been running a while, I think I'm just going to stop this and uh, uh, listen to it to make sure, it's, make sure everything's working. It should be working. Then I'm going to upload this. So the word from this would be, uh, I may be, may, oh, I've, also what I've done is, I've gone and deleted some videos. I deleted some recent videos that uh, I uploaded and 40 people looked at, and I think I'm just going to, like I said, I have over a thousand videos, I think I just may go back and delete some of those videos, uh, except I have to watch them to see. I've got some old videos. I, for me, too, when I started, too, with YouTube, I thought, I am going to upload all these videos and then when I pass away, and I say if, when I pass away, those videos will be there and people can come and they can see what, you know, what Miami, Florida, because I have some videos I recorded, you know, what, uh, what a hurricane looks like in Miami, Florida, what it looks like in a thunderstorm. In